Hello, this is John Neal again, a chalkboard artist, and uh, here's a long awaited and overdue uh, addition to the letters that I was going through the alphabet. I, I don't know if this is the second half or the third half. There you go. Um, I'm going to start, I've got to letter M, so I'm going on from letter N now, and there's one or two tricky letters in this part of the alphabet, which uh, a number of people do get wrong. So let's start with the letter N. Now, just bring you in a bit. Come closer. Come closer. Thank you. Oh, first of all, let's put the uh, magic apron on. Right, the letter N. Now, uh, as I said before, it's, all this is from the Romans, and what we have here is the N really is. Thin down those times, that is the thick one there. And it's difficult to hit that right if you're not careful. Let's just color that in. The serifs, you've got to get the serifs in the right place. They go there, right across there, and there. Generally, not there. Now, all these rules can be broken and often are, but that's what the N really looks like. Now, there are some variations on this, of course. You could, if you wanted to, really extend those things, maybe do move that that joint higher up. And that's quite nice. You've also got um, an N with uh, a, a flourish on it, a sort of a handwriting N, so you would, you're looking to maybe do that, as in <laughs> there you go. Right, these little films on YouTube, of course, are also uh, an opportunity for me to tell you about the DVD that I have, um, which is a full-length DVD. You can buy it from my, my website, which is... Now you can you can also make the N <coughs> if you think of um if you can see I put the N in there, you can go around it quite effectively. Now these have got square ends on, you might do it rounded of course. Make sure you get that diagonal right. That's that. About it really. Okay, let's move on to letter O. Take something else on letter O. Right, the letter O could be just a straight circle like this, of course, but then you might get it squashed in so it's narrower than taller. So you could go like that. Generally, don't get it spread out the other way. And of course, the thick and thins apply. So if that's the thin part on that diagonal, and that's the thick, you could be getting a look like that, which if you look on the zero on number 10 Downing Street is what you get. Um, what I would generally do though is to do an O that way up and then thicken it by taking it just straight down. And then you've got <coughs> also the chance of doing a circles like that, or possibly an O just there. I'll do Q while I'm at it, because basically that's all you've got to do with Q, is stick a, a tail on it and you're away. Okay, so there's the letter O. Be careful with it. Right, the letter P. P. I'll do, I'm going to do P and R together, because they're, they're, they're brother and sister, really. Slight move out there. Slight move out there as well. So P. Now I generally like to do P. So the body of it is nice and big at the top. So it's not so heavy top to. So I'm going to end aim for down there somewhere where I finish. So let's do that. And then that would be the thickest part there. Show you a quick effect here. That's easy. Ooh. Tell you what. Do a quick 
reflection. I've done this reflection so many times recently. It's been really good fun. That's all you have to do. Right, now, and then the letter R really is the tail coming off here. Now, there's a number of these because you've got R looking like that, possibly R looking like that, and a chance for a, a bit of a flourish. Or indeed, the, the original Roman one was really something like that, where it's really just sitting down. I suppose it ought to come out and balance the whole letter nicely there. The serifs, of course, go there, right across there, and possibly there. Let's put them all on. Likewise with the P. Serif there, and the serif across there. Or oh, finish that off. Yep, that's the letter R. <coughs> S. I'll just get S in. S is quite tricky because, basically, what you've got is you have... Uh, that's not S. Hold on, hold on. You've got to fit the S inside of there, inside that oval. So, S works its way through there. The couple of things to watch out is the what angle have you got that at? Because you could have an S that looks um, like that, where the, the centre part is almost horizontal. Or indeed, you can have it at an angle like that. Now then, when you're doing an S and thickening it up, there's something you've got to remember. And that is, that point there and there, those two points are where the thick, thinnest part goes, and that's where the thickest goes. So starts thin there, goes to its thickest there, back to thin. Thickest, and then down to thin. That thin part curves right at the top and the bottom. And the serifs could be a slight slope and they'll go there. Tricky to get right, but if you get your S's in order, you're okay. Well, those are the letters up to the letter S. Thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Control